All right, switching gears now, there is some new research out today on some common supplements many of us take to fight heart disease. Health anchor Liz Bonas joins us now with what researchers have discovered about them. Okay, Liz, I want to know. I take some of these too, I have to tell you. The study looked at several supplements long touted as possible heart disease fighters. It appears some don't seem to make a difference, but a new prescription strength pill with one of the ingredients does make a difference. A study just released on vitamin D and fish oil supplements, surprising in its results. Heart specialists at the Cleveland Clinic supplied this video. They say researchers found these common supplements are not beneficial for fighting heart disease or cancer. To find this out, researchers studied more than 25,000 men and women aged 50 and older for about five years. Study participants were split into four groups. One group took 2,000 international units of vitamin D plus one gram of fish oil daily. Another group took vitamin D only. Another took fish oil only. The final quarter of participants did not take anything. The primary goal of the study was to see if the supplements impacted the risk of developing cancer or heart disease. Overall, results show vitamin D and fish oil were not harmful, but they were also not effective in preventing these diseases. The study was funded by the National Institutes of Health and published in the New England Journal of Medicine. However, here's an interesting switch. One study in this research did find that a prescription medication that has higher amounts of purified fish oil did appear to reduce deaths from heart problems in people with high triglycerides. The medication is called the CEPA. Triglycerides are another fat component in the blood that can raise heart attack risk. Now, the medication combined with a statin dropped risk about 25% for a heart event in five years. There were concerns that it had other side effects, rhythm problems, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, so it's hard to do studies like this because they had to give people like an oil placebo. And some had mineral oil and some had uh, olive oil. And they thought, well, maybe even that helped. You know, it's oh, hard sure. to compare oh, yeah. those things. Yeah. So bottom line was <sighs> this prescription drug can cost you about 280 to 300 a month. It would be covered. Fish oil supplements, vitamin D supplements, we're taking those and they're, they're not. They're not. Yeah. Now, remember that it was heart disease and cancer they were looking at. They may help you with other things. They may help with your bone. Mm -hmm. they, you know, there's some question about mental health benefits. So it's really hard to say. But in yeah. this case, what they were looking at, the supplements didn't help and the prescription drug did. You've had two really interesting stories today. I know. It's, uh, they did a big scientific session on heart disease, and they published all this over the weekend. So I had like a flood of new stuff today. Just help my You're such a doctor. Help. No, I, and I love it. You get excited I over this stuff. I get up and I can't wait to tell you. All right. You know what we're excited about today? What? Paula's birthday. Oh. Oh. 